but those who before them had homes in Medina and had adopted the faith show their affection to such as came to them for refuge and entertain no desire in their hearts for things given to the latter but give them preference over themselves even through poverty was their own lot and those saved from the covetousness of their own souls they are the ones that achieve prosperity This is the mausoleum of Abu Ayyub Ansari, one of the famous companions of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Abu Ayyub Ansari was buried here approximately 1,300 years ago when he died on the battlefield outside the walls of Constantinople. The name of the city of Constantinople was later changed to Istanbul after the Muslim conquest. Abu Ayyub Ansari was a soldier in the Muslim army and a native of the city of Medina. The family tree and the identifications of this fascinating personality are inscribed on a marble stone at the entrance to the tomb. This is the entrance door to the grave. Inside the tomb, Quranic verses are engraved. Yet it is serene, peaceful, and graceful. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين السلام عليك ورحمة الله وبركاته يا خالد بن زيد المعروف بأبي أيوب الأنصاري Allah's peace and mercy be upon you, O Khalid, son of Zayd. You are known as Abu Ayyub Ansari. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya Aba Ayyub al Ansari. Ya man kana laka sharaf ustidafati rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inda wusulihi lil medina til munawara. Allah's peace and mercy be upon you. O Abu Ayyub Ansari, who had the honor to be the host of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he reached the enlightened city of Medina. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya Aba Ayyub al Ansari, Ya man bayata Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was to shitta fi sabili nashri rayat al Islam. Allah's peace and mercy be upon you, O Abu Ayyub Ansari, who gave allegiance to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and sacrificed himself for the sake of spreading Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, ya Aba Ayyub al Ansari, ya man tarqud fi Istanbul, asimati al dawlati al Islamiyati, liiddati quroon in madat. Allah's peace and mercy be upon you, O Abu Ayyub Ansari, who has been buried in Istanbul, which was the capital of the Islamic State 
for several centuries. Assalamu alayka wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Ya Aba Ayyub al-Ansari wa jama'ana Allahu wa iyyaka fil jannah ma'al anbiya'i wa al-siddiqeen wa al-shuhada Allah's peace and mercy be upon you, O Abu Ayyub Ansari, and may Allah bring us together with you in paradise, along with the prophets, the people of truth, and the martyrs. When the Prophet migrated from Mecca to Medina, which is a significant event in Islamic history, known as the Hijrah, the people of Medina greeted the Prophet with open arms. There was great joy, and every one of them wished that the Prophet would remain with him as a guest. Prophet told them to leave the camel free to walk because she had been so ordered. The camel stopped and sat down in front of the home of Abu Ayyub, and then walked around the house and returned and sat down at the same spot. Then Abu Ayyub took the Prophet into his own house. The Prophet lived in this house until he built the mosque which became known as the Prophet's Mosque. It has been written in Muslim history that Abu Ayyub Ansari, when he discovered that the Prophet was sleeping at the bottom level while he himself slept upstairs, became extremely embarrassed. He requested that the Prophet sleep upstairs and that he himself sleep downstairs. After the death of the beloved messenger, Abu Ayyub remained with the Muslim army and during the expansion of Islam, he played an active role as a soldier on the battlefield. In later years, he came to Constantinople with the Muslim army. He wanted to be a simple soldier and die for the sake of Allah. He remembered everything that the Prophet had said and done. At that time, Constantinople was a part of the Eastern Roman Empire. The city was surrounded by a strong fort wall and the Muslim army was outside. Abu Ayyub's dream was to bring Constantinople under Islamic rule. He came all the way from Medina at his old age. He was pure in his ambitions and dreams, and his sincerity was beyond question. He wanted to be a simple Muslim soldier and fight and die for his faith. In those days, Constantinople was the capital of the Eastern Roman Empire and an important city strategically. This city had been built by Constantine the Great. It was surrounded by a large wall, and conquest of the city was not an easy task. During the battle, Abu Ayyub received mortal wounds and fell. His last wish 
was to be buried at the furthest edge of the battlefield, yet close to the city. He said that even after his death, he would be watching and hearing the hooves of the Muslim horses advancing towards the city. His wish was granted, and he was buried there. It was the year 688 AD. Since that time, Muslim armies continued to try to conquer Constantinople, but it took them approximately 800 years to fulfill the dream of Abu Ayyub Ansari. It was the year 1453 when a great commander, Fateh Mohammed II, finally captured Constantinople for the Muslims and established Islamic rule. During the 800 years of struggle, Abu Ayyub Ansari was regarded by the Romans as a saint. At times in which there was little rain, the Romans would visit the grave of Abu Ayyub and plead for rain. However, after the conquest of Constantinople, a mausoleum was constructed around the site, as well as a school and a mosque. The name of Constantinople was changed afterwards to Istanbul. The Muslims stood at the gateway to Europe. The night before the conquest of Constantinople by Sultan Fateh Mohammed, the Christian Romans of the city entered the huge historic church of St. Sophia and conducted services all night. They knew that the Muslims were about to enter and occupy the city. They knew that the slogans, God is great, would soon be heard and the Islamic flag would be erected on the soil of Constantinople. The Sultan had erected around the city walls very powerful cannons. These cannons fired the heaviest stones ever seen and broke the sturdy walls of Constantinople. Sultan Mohammed finally captured the city. The heroic deed of the Muslim army, along with the discipline, unity, and spirit of sacrifice were the primary reasons for the success. The dream of Abu Ayyub was fulfilled. The great building of Saint Sophia now echoed with the calls for prayer to Allah. Constantinople was called Istanbul thereafter, and the city became the capital of Muslim power for several centuries. The tomb of Fateh is next to Fateh Mosque in the city of Istanbul. The Fateh Mosque is a huge structure and is very beautiful inside. The domes and minarets are very high, inlaid with the most beautiful artwork. The symmetry, the beauty, and the superior engineering, and the silence inside the mosque remind us of the glory of the past. O oh Allah, bless Abu Ayyub Ansari for his true and sincere devotion to the faith. He was the host of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad Fateh, who fulfilled the dream of Abu Ayyub and brought glory to the Muslim history. Amen. After the conquest of Istanbul, this empire expanded rapidly 
and became one of the biggest and most powerful empires in the world history and was known as the Ottoman Empire. Countries like Poland, Hungary, and cities like Vienna came under the Ottoman power. The brave sultans decorated the capital of their empire, Istanbul, with the most beautiful mosques in the world. And Islamic Dawah and Islamic learning became the way of life. An Islamic state had been established. These beautiful rooms, decorated with the Muslim art and the Quranic verses, show the passions of these rulers to protect Islamic thought and their love for the faith. These are the elegant rooms where the sultans lived and ruled this vast empire. Muslim history has numerous examples of bravery, sacrifice, struggle, sincerity, and grand successes. The Ottoman Empire lasted for approximately 500 years. May Allah bless all these people who struggled to spread the faith sincerely. Amen. <laughs>